Welcome to Coding Sahai, I am Leshma. So we discussed the fundamentals of Python and simple programs in Python. Now we have to solve some exercise questions, mainly finding the errors in the Python code, output questions, multiple choice questions, then some short and long answer questions. The output based questions and finding the errors in the Python code, these two questions are very important because you will get these two questions for your school examinations and board examinations. So from the first chapter onwards, you have to practice output based questions and finding the errors. Okay, so in this video, we are going to solve some output based questions. So let's begin. If you feel my videos are useful, then please do subscribe to my channel and share the videos and enable the notification button so you will not miss the later sessions of Python. So let's begin. So already we discussed the precedence of operators in one of the previous videos. See for doing some output questions and to solve some expressions we have to be thorough with this precedence of operators and its associativity. It is very important. So here the highest priority is for parenthesis and the lowest priority is for boolean or. So please go through this uh, table. Uh, it is important for solving the expressions. See here multiplication, division, flow division, modulus and at. These operators have the same precedence. Same way we have this less than, less than or equal to greater than, greater than or equal to double equal to not equal to. So for all these operators also have the same precedence. Suppose one multiplication symbol, division, flow division, if it comes together in an expression, which one will be executed first? So in that case, we are following another rule that is associativity. So let's see what is associativity in Python. So associativity is the order in which an expression having multiple operators of same precedence is evaluated. Okay, so almost all operators have the associativity from left to right. That is, if you have multiplication, division, then flow division, everything in one expression. So, which comes first in the left side? That will be executed first. So, let's see an example. See, here we have 10 multiplied by 5 divided by 4 and flow division 2. So, in this case, the associativity or the order of execution is from left to right. Okay, so here first we have 10 multiplied by 5. So, that will be executed first. So, here first it does the operation 10 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 50. So, let's see how this expression will be evaluated. So, here First we have 10 multiplied by 5. So in the step 1, it does this operation 10 multiplied by 5, that is 50, divided by 4, then flow division 2. Then we have the next operation is division. Okay, because you know for star and division and flow division, all these three operators have the same precedence. So multiplication is over now. Now the next operation from left to right is our division. So 50 divided by 4. So 50 divided by 4 is 12.5 flow division 2. Okay. So that is the second step. You will get the answer 6. So this is associativity of normal operators. So for almost all operators have the associativity from left to right. But... For exponentiation, it is not left to right, it is from right to left. Suppose in an expression, if you have multiple exponentiation, then it executes from right to left. So let's see an example. See here we have 2 double star 3 double star 2. That is 2 to the power 3 to the power 2, right? So here first it does the operation this one, 3 double star 2, that is the execution will be like this, double star 3, double star 2. So, it starts from right to left. So, this will be executed first. That is 3 to the power 2. 3 to the power 2, it is 9. Then, we have 
2 to the power 9. Okay, so 2 to the power 9. So, you will get the answer uh, 5, 1, 2, 512. Okay, so that is the case with exponentiation that is it executes from right to left. So, let's move on to the exercise part. Okay, so in the exercise part, the first part is what will be the output produced by the following expression. So, here we have the first question. A, B, C equal to 1, 2, 3. Okay, so this is multiple assignment that you know. Then X equal to A minus B multiplied by C and then print X. So, you have to find out the output of this question. Okay, so let's work out this question. So, our first question a, B, C equal to 1, 2, 3. That means A equal to 1, B equal to 2, C equal to 3. So you know that order that is A gets the value 1, B gets the value 2 and C gets the value 3. Then we have X equal to A minus B multiplied by C. The two operators are there uh, subtraction and multiplication. So multiplication gets the highest priority. So here it does the operation 1 minus 2 multiplied by 3. So that means 1 minus 2 3 is a 6. So you will get 1 minus 6 minus 5. So this is the output for this question. So here this multiplication gets the highest priority. So this is the output for this question. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. So our second question is a comma b equal to 5 comma 10. Then C equal to A by B multiplied by B then print C. Okay, so uh, it is almost like our previous question. So you can do it yourself then see the output. So let's solve this question. Okay, so here we have A comma B equal to 5 comma 10. That is A gets the value 5 and B gets the value 10. Then we have the equation C equal to A by B multiplied by b. So what does it mean? So here we have division symbol then multiplication symbol. So we studied the associativity and the precedence. So here for division and multiplication have the same precedence. So then what comes next? Associativity. So which operator will be executed first? Here the division will be executed first. So here uh, a has the value 5 by 10 multiplied by 10. Okay. So here 5 by 10 that is 0 0.5. You will get the answer 0 0.5 multiplied by 10. So division is over. Now we have only multiplication. So 0 0.5 multiplied by 10 it is 5.0. So that is the output for this question. So let's move on to the next question. So we have the third question. P Q R equal to 10 comma 3 comma 1. P star equal to 10. Q minus equal to R. R plus equal to Q multiplied by P and print P Q R. Okay. So let's do this one. So here we have P comma Q comma R equal to 10 comma 3 comma 1. That means P equal to 10. Q equal to 3 and R equal to 1. Okay. Then we have P multiplied by equal to 10. So what does it mean? So here we have shorthand assignment operator or the augmented operator. So we can write it as P equal to P multiplied by 10. So what is the value of P? The value of P is 10. So 10 multiplied by 10 you will get the answer as 100. Then we have Q minus equal to R. Q minus equal to R. So here Q equal to Q minus R. So what is the value of Q? The initial value of Q is 3. 3 minus and R is 1. So you will get 3 minus 1 equal to 2. So the new value of P is 100 and Q is 2. So we have the next equation R plus equal to Q multiplied by P. So in this case we have plus equal to and multiplication. See if you have any shorthand assignment operator and any other expression on the right side. So you have to do the expression on the right side. That should be evaluated first. Then only you have to do this shorthand assignment operation. So here we have R plus equal to Q multiplied by P. So the last value of Q is 2 and the last value of P is 
Then now you have to expand it like R equal to R plus 200. What is the value of R? The value of R is 1. So 1 plus 200, you will get the answer 201. Okay, so here the last values of P, Q, R are 100, 2 and 201. So you have to write the output as 100, 2, 201. So let's do the next question. So our fourth question is A, B, C equal to 48, flow division 6, flow division 2. See, don't confuse it with three variables. It is A, B, C. It is one variable. It is not A, B and C. And you have to solve this one and print the value. So this is very easy. You can do it. So let's solve the problem. So here, A, B, C equal to 48, flow division 6, flow division 2. So in this expression, we have two flow division. So the precedence it is same. So the associativity is from left to right. That means 48 flow division 6. That is 48 divided by 6. So the answer is 8 here. Then we have 8 flow division 2. That is 8 divided by 2. So you will get the answer 4. So if it prints, print A, B, Z. Means it prints the value 4. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. So our fifth question, it is num1, num2 equal to 2, 6, then num1, num2 equal to num2, num1 plus 2, then print num1, comma, then a comma in the double quotes and num2. Okay. So just pause the video and do it yourself and find the output. Okay, so here first statement num1, comma, num2 equal to 2, comma, 6. That is num1 has the value 2 and num2 has the value 6. Then in the second statement num1, comma, num2 equal to num2, comma, num1 plus num2. So here num1, comma, num2 equal to num2, comma, num1 plus 2. Okay, so in this expression, you know num1 gets the value num2 and num2 gets the value num1 plus 2. So here we have an expression, right? Num1 plus num2. That should be evaluated first. So we have num1 plus 2. That means what is the value of num1? We have 2 here. So 2 plus 2, you will get the value 4. So now let's rewrite this expression that is num1 comma num2 equal to here we have num2 we have the value 6 6 comma then num1 plus 2 you get the value 4 here. So now num1 comma num2 equal to 6 comma 4. So here num1 gets the value 6 and num2 gets the value 4. Okay. So when it prints, it prints like this 6, 4 because here we have a comma in double quote. That means the comma it prints as it is. So you will get the answer as 6, 4. So let's move on to the next problem. So we have the sixth question. Print 10 plus 6 multiplied by 2 double star 2 not equal to 9. Flow division 4 minus 3 and 29 greater than or equal to 29 by 9. So it's a big question that is so many operations are there in one statement in the print statement. So let's solve this. So this question it is completely based on the precedence of operators and the associative of uh, operators. So here we have plus symbol then multiplication. Then double star not equal to flow division minus and greater than and a division. Okay. So check the table if you are not confident with the precedence of operators. So here which operator has the highest priority? So based on the precedence of operators the highest priority is for uh, this double star. So let's rewrite the expression. 10 plus 6 multiplied by 
Then we have two double star two. Two double star two. It is four. Okay, that is two square. Then not equal to nine. Floor division four minus three and twenty nine greater than or equal to twenty nine divided by nine. So based on the precedence, here we have the highest priority operators. First one we have multiplication, then we have floor division, then we have division. So how can we execute this? So based on the associativity, it will be executed. So here ten plus. So it does this operation first. Six multiplied by four, twenty four. Not equal to nine. Then floor division four minus three and twenty nine greater than or equal to twenty nine divided by nine. So based on the associativity, first one this operation it is finished. Now we have this floor division. So it comes like ten plus twenty four modulo nine floor division four. Okay, nine divided by four. So nine divided by four it is two fours are eight. Then nine minus eight ten. Then point. Then we will get here two fours are eight. Then twenty. Actually the answer is two point two five, but it is floor division, so it takes only this two. So here we have two, then minus three and twenty nine greater than or equal to twenty nine divided by nine. Okay. So in this operation, this floor division part is also over. Now we have the third associativity that is twenty nine by nine. So here we have ten. Plus twenty four not equal to two minus three and twenty nine greater than or equal to twenty nine by nine. So if you do this twenty nine by nine, you will get the answer as like three point two 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 like that. So now I am taking only three point two two. Okay, so twenty nine by nine it is three point two two. So all this associativity operations are over. So now we have plus symbol, then not equal to, then minus, then and, then greater than or equal to. So based on the precedence of operators, we have plus and minus. So according to the associativity, plus symbol will be executed because it comes first. So we have ten plus twenty four, that is thirty four, not equal to. Two minus three and twenty nine greater than or equal to three point two two. So in this expression we have not equal to then minus then and and greater than or equal to. So according to the precedence of operators we have subtraction that should be executed first. So here we have thirty four not equal to two minus three that is minus one and. Twenty nine greater than or equal to three point two two. So now we have not equal to and and greater than or equal to. So here not equal to and greater than or equal to are relational operators. So again with same precedence. So associativity that is from left to right. So first it does the operation thirty four not equal to minus one. That means whether thirty four is Not equal to minus one or not? Yes, thirty four is not equal to minus one. So here we get true, and here twenty nine greater than or equal to three point two two. So here now we have this operation, and then greater than operation. So greater than or equal to has the highest precedence. So it is checking whether twenty nine greater than or equal to three point two two. The twenty nine is greater than three point two two, so it returns true. So here you will get true and true, true and true. Okay. So what is true and true? You know the operations and boolean and or not you studied. So boolean and true and true it returns the value true. So after printing the statement, you will have the output true. Okay. So this type of question you can expect through the examination. So let's move on to the next question. Okay, so we have the next question. X equal to three plus ten multiplied by. In parentheses we have four multiplied by thirteen minus nine divided by ten 
and print x. So let's solve this problem. So our expression is x equal to 3 plus 10 multiplied by in parentheses we have 4 multiplied by 3 minus 9 divided by 10. So let's write this uh, equation first. 3 plus 10 multiplied by in bracket 4 multiplied by 30 minus 9 divided by 10. So here parenthesis has the highest priority. So here we have two parentheses, one outer one and the inner one. Here the inner one will be executed first. So here you will have 3 plus 10 multiplied by first it is the operation 4 multiplied by 30. So here 4 multiplied by 30 it is 52 minus 9 divided by 10. Okay. So next we have one more parenthesis. So no doubt we have to do that. 3 plus 10 multiplied by 43 divided by 10. So now we have 3 plus is there. Then multiplication then division. So see here 4 multiplication and uh, division have the highest precedence. So how it will be executed? The associate it is from left to right. So first this multiplication will be executed. So 3 plus 10 multiplied by 43 that is 430 divided by 10. Okay. So here next priority is for 430 divided by 10. We have 3 plus 430 divided by 10 that is 43.0. Then 3 plus 43.0 you will get 46.0. So this is the output for this question. So our next question is P, Q, R is equal to 2, 4, 6. P, Q, R is equal to P multiplied by P. P into Q, P into R, then print P, Q, R. Okay. So let's solve this problem. So here we have P, Q, R equal to 2, 4, 6. That means P equal to 2, then Q equal to 4 and R equal to 6. So next we have P, Q, R equal to P into P, P into Q, P into R. So in this expression, first the right side expressions will be evaluated. After that the values will be assigned from left to right. So first you have to evaluate the expression. So the first one is P into P that is 2 multiplied by 2 that is 4. Then we have P multiplied by Q that is 2 multiplied by 4 that is 2 4s are 8. Then we have P multiplied by R that is P is 2, 2 multiplied by uh, 6 you will get 12. Okay so now we have P, Q, R equal to 4, 8, 12. So how this will be assigned? P to 4, Q to 8 and R to 12. That is it prints the value 4, 8, 12. So this is the output. Let's do the next question. So our last output finding question. Num1, comma, num2, comma, num3 equal to 2, 3, 4. Then num1 double star equal to num2 plus num3. Then print num1. So let's find out the answer. So here we have num1, comma, num2, comma, num3 equal to 2, 3, 4. That means num1 gets the value 2. Then num2 gets the value 3. And num3 gets the value 4. Then we have the expression num1 double star equal to num2 plus num3. So in this case first this addition will be done. That means num1 double star equal to num2 plus num3. That is num2 is 3 and num3 is 4. That is 3 plus 4. So num1 double star equal to 7. So now let's rewrite the equation as num1 equal to num1 double star 7. Then what is the value of num1? Num1 is 2. So you have 2 to the power 7 or 2 double star 7. That means 2 to the power 7. So you will get the answer 128. 2 to the power 7 is 128. So we solve some output based questions. 
Next we have finding the errors in the Python code and we have multiple choice questions and long and short answer questions. So that we are going to discuss in the next video. Hope you understood the topics we covered. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please feel free to comment. Thank you for watching.